I'd like to introduce you to the Thompson One database that we have access to through the Penrose Library website. When doing equity analysis and research, Thompson One is invaluable because it gives you access to industry and sector reports as well as professional research reports done by Wall Street firms to value stocks. Unfortunately, the downside is that it's a little challenging to access this database. First, let me tell you a little bit about Thomson One. Thomson One is put out by an organization called Thomson Reuters. Much like Bloomberg and Standard & Poor's, Thomson Reuters is one of the large financial conglomerates throughout the world. Um, there's been a real consolidation trend um, over the past decade or so where these organizations have bought up smaller research providers and providers of financial data and basically rolled these products into one. Thomson One is one of the premier products that Thomson Reuters offers. It's more than just research reports. They provide a lot of financial statements, other financial data, insider trading, holdings. But what I like about this, because it's unique, is that they offer uh, research reports and they offer it through a service called Investex, which is really rolled into this Thomson One product that we subscribe to. Investex takes research reports from over 1400 sources. Many of these are the leading Wall Street firms. And what you're seeing is sell-side analyst research. They add over 5,000 reports daily. It's a really impressive number. Unfortunately, the quality varies tremendously. So you really have to try and find the needle in the haystack, so to speak. You have to weed through a lot of computer-generated computer reports that are of lesser quality to find the ones where an analyst has put in the time and effort to uh, do nice pro formas, a really first-class job of doing evaluation. So understand, you've got to sort through this in order to find the research reports that are really going to provide insights into your equity analysis. There are a number of access requirements. And this is one of the frustrating things about the database, is you have to use Internet Explorer 7.0 or higher. The reason why is because the database uses an ActiveX plugin, which is only available for Internet Explorer. You can thank Microsoft for that. You have to use the compatibility view if you have Internet Explorer 9.0 or higher. I personally haven't had this problem, even though um, I use the latest version of Explorer. But if you do encounter a problem with viewing the website, you can click on this button that's circled in red, which enables the compatibility view on Internet Explorer. Another issue is when you try and download data from this website, it often will uh, try and pop up the data in a new tab within Internet Explorer. So you have to allow pop-ups from this website. You can go in to the settings on Internet Explorer and explicitly type in the Thompson website and allow pop-ups. But what I recommend, this is much easier, is just hold down the control key when clicking on a link, a link that's going to download information, and holding down the control button is basically telling the web browser you're okay with a pop-up coming from clicking on that link. If you're following all that and you still have a problem, your web browser may be caching some bad data associated with the database. And this has happened to me before. I've tried to access the database. I've been on campus. I've been using the right version of the browser and I get a blue screen. I've had to go in and reset the settings on Internet Explorer. Under the Tools pull-down menu in Internet Explorer, you want to ex it select the IE options. Then you click on that Advanced tab, click on the Reset button, and you can reset the browser settings without deleting your personal settings. Um, in my version of Internet Explorer, there's a little box, and you don't want to have the box checked. Because if you check the box, it's going to delete your personal settings. Don't check the box, and it will keep your personal settings. After all that, you need to close and reopen the Internet Explorer browser. Then you can access the database. So hopefully those tips uh, will work for you. I'd, I've never heard of a case where those tips didn't work. So uh, if you encounter problems, go back and take a look. Okay, so here's Internet Explorer. Up here you can see that I'm accessing library.du.edu, which is the website for the Penrose Library. 
And once you've accessed this on campus using IE, you can go to databases here. You can search databases by subject and go to business and finance. I find it quicker just to click on T for Thompson 1. And it gives you a little information about what browser you need to be using. And then you can click on Thompson 1. Unfortunately, the database is a little slow, so you have to be patient. It will often seem like the web browser is not downloading data when it actually is. It automatically pulls up Microsoft. The first thing I'd like to illustrate is how to get research reports on a particular company. You can search on your company um, by trying to type in the ticker symbol right here and then hitting go. Once you have the company pulled up, you can go over here to research and click on company research. Okay, it seems like it's not doing anything, right? Just be patient. It takes a little while to actually go out and pull those research reports that are available from Investex. It looks like there's a problem because it even says this is embargoed, but uh, it should pop up. There it goes. So one of the neat things about this is it provides a list of research reports that you can download. And it also has the ratings over here. So if you click on the eye, you can see that Thompson bought a company called Starmine. Starmine rates the overall accuracy of analyst earnings estimates. So those analysts that have done a better job in predicting future earnings are going to get a higher star rating. You want to look at uh, look for those ones with the five stars, and you can see that only 10% of analysts are actually getting five stars. The next 23% are getting four stars. Um, you know, it's it's tough to find those with the single stars, but they're actually going to be providing the valuable research. There's some research reports in here that are of lesser quality. Global data is generally just a computer generated. Um, uh, I use the term research report very loosely because it's generally just going to summarize the financial statements and provide you with ratios. So this is a good one. Marco at Hamburger has done a good job of analyzing uh, his companies that he follows. Greg at Cowan and Company has done a good job. I'm going to check and download his research report. And here's a Jeffrey report, Jeffrey's report that uh, has got five stars. So once I've selected the reports that I'd like to view, I'm going to click on view. It takes a while to load, unfortunately. Yes, the video is not broken. It's still trying to download the research reports. I'm going to select all the reports, hold down the control button, and click view because it's going to download these as a pop-up. So I clicked on it. It seemed like it was doing nothing. But because I hold down the, held down the control key, it allowed this pop-up from Thompson 1 and this should launch Adobe Acrobat and download the research reports into a one PDF document, which I'll be able to print or I'll be able to save. And here we go. We've got the research reports I was looking for. This one's in German. That's pretty rare. Not a good example to download, but this one from Cowan and Company um, is going to be a little bit easier for me to understand. You can see the revenue estimates for 2014 and 2015 right here. The other thing I'd like to show you is how to download sector and industry research. And this is the right page to do it. I'm going to scroll up to the top and I see this advanced research page. Click on this, and it's going to allow you to customize your search. In other words, it's not just going to be searching for 
research reports on a single stock. And there are a couple of tricks that I've learned. One has to do with how to specify the search, another has to do with the report type, and another has to do with the geography. So imagine that I'm doing a research report looking at the consumer discretionary sector. I'm going to search on title and text. Since I'm trying to do an industry analysis, I'm going to select only the industry research report type. One of the problems is it will download reports on consumer discretionary throughout the world, so it's often useful to isolate just the reports on the United States. So I clicked on geography. It's going to pull up a list of countries. So click the show all button, go down to the US, add the US, click OK. And so this is good. I'm looking for consumer discretionary within both the title and the text. I'm just looking for reports on the US. I'm just looking for industry reports. Let's see what it'll pull up. I clicked on search. And it's going to show me the research reports that are not screened out. So I'm going to scroll down. And here it's got a research report on the retail sector, which is in consumer discretionary. And you can scroll through this. Unfortunately, this requires multiple searches because you'll often get reports that you don't want. I believe that uh, part of consumer discretionary is media. So you can see here that McCary has a research report on that. It's five star. This looks like it's going to be valuable. Once you find the research reports you want, click view, select all, hold down the control button, and click, and it's going to load the PDFs in a pop-up, just like we saw before with the research reports on Microsoft. If you don't get the research reports that you want, you have to alter these terms. Maybe you change geography. Maybe you uh, search within company research reports too. Maybe you alter the search term. You have to be a little flexible with the sector reports and the industry reports because they're not so easy to get like the uh, stock reports. So I hope that provides you with an overview as well as solutions to any problems that you may encounter trying to access the database and Hope that you find this um, to be one of the more valuable resources I certainly have in doing equity research. So good luck in your searching.